Hey there, it's Mrs. J. Thanks for tuning in. In this video, we're going to start the Automata Toy Project. Um, we'll set up a project folder and we will make this circle cam. We're going to use parametric modeling, parametric dimensions. We're going to use this one right here. Parametric lets you set up one base size that you can change later without having to create new parts. I like to think of it like buying a shoe size. Say you create an entire shoe and it's a size six, but you want it in a size eight and nine and 10. You can just come in here, change one dimension and everything will populate for you and you'll have another part with new dimensions. It's pretty easy to use once you get the hang of it. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and open up Fusion 360. All right, so we're opened up, we're signed in, we make sure we're all refreshed and ready to roll. Um, you should be in inches and your y-axis should be up. We're going to open up the data panel on the left side. Mine's a little cut off in the video, but it looks like a Rubik's Cube. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to go to the home. We don't want to see our pegboard anymore. And we're going to make a new project. I'm going to call this project a U-T-O-M-A-T-A, -A -A, automata. It means it moves by itself. Call my automata toy. Hit enter. Give it a minute to update. And then I want to pin it to the top since I'm going to do all my work here in the next few weeks. Oh, I guess it was pinned and I just unpinned it. Oh, don't be me. No, it's pinned. Okay, there we go. Took a minute. Okay, so now we're going to double click it. Make sure we're always in here while we're working. So now everything I make today will be in this folder. So let's X that up. Okay, so let's take a look at parametric. Um, this is the file for the cams. You're going to end up making all of these, but we're going to start with this one because it's nice and simple. <clears throat> so we have here the diameter of the circle. We have the space right here. It's a quarter inch between the center of the circle. Let me get a little closer. And and the actual like cutout where you would put your um, the holder, the axle in there to hold it so it can spin around. And it says D divided by four. So whatever your diameter is divided by four. So let's say I had a one inch diameter it would be one divided by four or a quarter inch. This space right here. If I had a two inch, it would be two divided by four or half inch. So it does that automatically for you. and It's nice and easy. And that hole goes all the way through. They didn't give us a dimension for the hole, but we're going to go with 3 16 of an inch. It's just a nice common size to work with. Okay, let me show you what this means. So let's go into Fusion. And I'm going to make sure I read my cheat sheet while I do this. <laughs> okay. We're going to go to the Modify Panel. So we have the ribbon. We have panels, create, modify, assemble, construct, inspect, insert, select. We're going to go to modify. <clears throat> We're going to go all the way down to change parameters. You will generally something see something about parameters in your certification testing. Pop up a window like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. This in front of you. And now we're going to come over here to user parameters and click that plus sign. So you'll see name, unit, expression, value, and comment. We're going to go ahead and type in DIA. That is short for diameter, but we don't use the whole terminology. So it fits on our screen. And we're going to make it one inch. Make sure we're in inches. Make sure your units are in inches. They should default if your fusion is in inches. We're going to say 1.0. And our comment is going to be N O M I N A O, uppercase D I A M E T E R. It used to matter uppercase or not in the first two letters in older software. I do not know if it matters now, so just be careful and do it that way until we figure out whether it makes a difference or not. Nominal diameter, meaning it doesn't matter the number that you start with, and everything's based off of that. So I chose one, I could have chosen two. Or 10 and whatever else will be based off of this this is the base point so hit ok so you've got one what we're going to end up doing is put in three 
<clears throat> one for the diameter, one for the space in between that hole and the diameter, and one for the, uh, I think we're going to do the thickness, one for the hole and the thickness. So let's do that. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Okay, so let's take a quick look here. One second. Let's call this hole right here 3 16 of an inch, and let's put that back in here. So we're going to go to the plus sign user parameters, type in hole. It's still in inches, 3 16 I think when we're in the classroom, we use a quarter inch. It depends what I buy from Home Depot. <laughs> And that can go in there. And now we're just going to say what it is so that we can have it in our listing later. It's the whole diameter. Spell that correctly. <clears throat> and click OK there. So now you have two items. I'm sorry for the noise. Time to change classes. Let's do one more plus. We'll enter a name. This one's for the depth. And we're going to call it 0.25. That was actually all we needed. The depth is how thick your little cam circle is going to be. And we'll call it cam thickness. Cam thickness. Okay, perfect. So you've got one, two, three diameter, hole, and depth. And I'll show you what they mean. That's all we really needed. Um, diameter, hole. And then if you return this sideways, how thick is it? So that's all we did so far. Okay, so we see our dimensions here, diameter, hole, and depth. We see our expression, our value, and our comments. So let's get in here and make a new sketch. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> let's get in here and make a new sketch. And I think I'll put it right on the front plane. I'm going to take the circle tool, and I click in the center, and instead of typing in one inch, I'm going to type DIA. See how that pops up? And hit enter. Hit one more time. And then you should see <clears throat> it automatically defaults to the user parameter. I'm just zooming in to see it. It says f of x is 1 inch. For the next step, we're going to take the line tool and we're going to go right on the origin. We're going to make a point for that uh, hole to go in. We're going to click on the origin drag straight down, and instead of typing in the quarter inch, we know what it's going to be. We're going to do DIA divided by 4. DIA divided by 4. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you see that uh, 1 inch divided by 4 gives you a quarter inch. Okay, for the last part, you just click on the circle tool, click right on your new point, and type in the word hole. Enter, enter, and it'll automatically default to 3 16 Okay, and to finish up the cam, you want to hit finish sketch, and then I'm going to hit home so it goes isometric, extrude, and click on your center there. And now we're going to type in thickness, which is the word we used. I think I have to pull it a little bit. And that should work. Okay, those red letters are telling me that that's wrong. So I have to type in depth, and I saw it pop up there. Depth is the word you got to use. Depth, hit enter, and then hit enter. There you go. You're all done. Remember to save this. I'm going to go to File, Save. I'm going to call this Cam1. In your automata file and save. Thanks for watching.